Hi everybody, this is Melissa from the library today and um, I'm here to show you a really fun craft to do at home that you can do really easily with stuff that you can find um, at the dollar store or any of those places. That's where I got some of my stuff at. So I know a lot of you guys really love squishy, so we're going to make one today using um, a makeup sponge. So this is just to show you one that I made um, using a makeup sponge, which I thought was a lot of fun. Um, and then you use puffy paint. You can also use like different, like an acrylic pink. However, I would really recommend the puffy paint. Like I said, um, the stuff you can buy at the, um, at the dollar store is just super nice. So, um, you can make a cute little watermelon like this one. Um, another thing that I'm going to show you in this video is how to make a more professional one, such as this one that I made of, of a little cupcake, of a little cupcake muffin. Um, these are a little bit more, um, high tech and more professional grade. So, um, later on in the video, I'm going to show you how to make these, um, how to make these in particular. Um, I use puffy paint for this one too, but I'm. this is a little bit more complicated. So um, hopefully one day when we're able to hang out with each other in person, we can make these instead. But for now, let's do the cute little um, watermelon squishy. Um, I love it, it's so cute and it's adorable. And it takes about a day to dry. So I made this one yesterday. So what we're gonna need for this craft is um, these triangle makeup sponges. You can get them anywhere. Um, I got these at the dollar, so I got 28 of them at the dollar store for a buck. Um, and then you're gonna need, um, you don't need a palette, but it's good to use. You can also use um, a plate, a paper plate. And then you're gonna need some kind of um, brush or something to use it and then some water so you can clean it. And then of course a paper napkin just in case. So I'm just gonna put that right here. And then you're going to need some puppy paint, um, preferably in the colors of this, of like a pink and a, and this color. And then of course this color and black for the eyes. However, you can use a permanent marker as well. So what we're going to do to get started is we're going to go ahead and pour out our paint. So we're going to pour out some of the white one or, and then we're just going to do a glob right here. So we're going to do actually a lot because we have to cover the whole thing. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some pink and we're going to put a little, actually not pink, I'm sorry. We're going to do a glob of green. So just a little dot of green to give it that really nice color. So then, and then the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to grab our pink and we're going to put it in the next one next door. Then what we want to do is close these guys up and then we're going to get our paint brush. I'm going to get one of my bigger ones to mix it all up and make kind of like that really pretty color, that really pretty teal. And then I just realized that I didn't use the regular white one instead of it's really sparkly. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this guy away and we'll put it in our water. And then we're gonna do that first is then we're gonna open our little sponge thing and we're gonna grab one. So I, when I was at the dollar store, I noticed that they also sell puffy paint, but they only sell the standard colors. So you can still use that, which it works out just as great. Um, like I said, I wouldn't use the like just regular acrylic paint because it won't squish as much and it's not as flexible. However, whatever you have works out for me. What you want to do is you want to apply your first layer on the bottom for your crust. So you're doing that. And then you're just going to paint on the bottom of your crust. Um, and then you're just going to paint it onward like that. And then you're just going to put it on and just dot it on as such. And then the reason we made a lot of this color is because we want to make, put another layer on there. Because if you notice, it is kind of really really light so i just realized that i used the the white sparkly one but that's quite all right so we're just gonna let that dry right there for a bit i'm actually gonna make this a little bit thicker because i want my crust to be thick and then we're just gonna put it on there and make that layer i'm just gonna put it on there as such all over the little sponge and then you have your first one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for a little while to do another layer. So we're gonna go ahead and clean our brush. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab the pink one. 
And then we're going to start coloring this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly do it like that, one side. And then I'm just going to do it rough. And then this is another one where if you want it to be darker, you can do another layer. However, I think that is nice because then some watermelon is not that pink or that, that really bright color. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do our side. So we're just gonna grab that and then we're gonna do our side. It's like hard when you can't do it. Sorry, it's a very loud day today at the library, but that's okay. We're getting ready. So then you're just going to do, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab it from the bottom. And then what we're going to do is um leave a little line for our um, the bottom of the crust. It doesn't have to be a perfect line, so that's what matters. So then now we have that side. Another thing that I would recommend is if you want, you can use like a little paper, like a um, toothpick and you can just spike it on there on the bottom so that way you don't have to grab the sides. However, whatever works for you. So then I'm just going to put it down right here and then I'm going to start painting the other sides. So I'm just going to paint it on as such. And then just going to do the rest. Just going to glob it on there. Then it should be ready to go. So then, so then there's that. And then now we just have to do one more side. Don't worry if you get the paint on your hands, this puffy paint, it comes off with water. So as long as you wash your hands, like you should be right afterwards. It'll be good to go. So now I did all of the sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it dry. I'm gonna paint my brush here. I mean, clean my brush right here. Oh my God, it, it fell. <laughs> no, it fell again. So we're just gonna let it dry. And then what we're gonna do is right now before we let it dry, we're gonna do another layer of the green. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the last of the green and then we're just gonna plop it on. Do another layer of that green on the side for the crust. So then we're just gonna do that. You can also use a marker for this. I tried it myself using a permanent marker, or not a permanent marker, a permanent marker and a Crayola washable. Um, it's not the same effect as if using puffy paint. However, it still gets the same, of, it still works and it kind of gets the same thing that we're aiming for and that decorating of makeup sponge and then being able to squish it once it's ready to be, to be dried and used. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do the remaining sides of this and then I'm just going to make another layer, make sure that we have our sides put together. So yeah, as such. So then now we have our super cute sponge ready to go. He's um cleaning up nicely and then we're just going to let one of the sides dry a little bit and then um. Actually, this side should be ready to go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my black one. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a little small blob on it as such. There's a little small blob right there. <laughs> and then, cause we don't really need that much for the face and for the seeds. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and clean our brush and then grab some black, like a little teensy bit of black. And then we're just gonna make a cute little face. Then I'm just gonna plop it on there. Grab my seeds on there. They don't have to be perfect. <laughs> it looks so funny. So we're just gonna put our seeds on. 
Besides, as you can tell, I'm just putting my seeds all over. I'm just dyeing it on there with my black. I'm looking crazy. Then I'm running out of black, so we're going to grab some more here. And then we're just going to glue it onward. It's going to stick it on there as such. And then that's it. We're done with our cute little one there. It's super cute. It's super adorable. Cute little sponge. So I would leave it to dry for overnight. That's what I did with my other one. I let it dry overnight and then it was ready to go the next day. Um, they tan and then you can uh, squish it all you want. It's just so cute. She's so cute. So you can squish it all you want. So then um, that's pretty much about it for this part of it. Um, this is a super duper easy one to do at home um, with um, pretty much, like I said, puffy paint and a makeup sponge. However, if those not options aren't available, like I said, you can always just use a makeup sponge and um, some markers, like some permanent markers or some washable ones. I would probably use the permanent ones over the washable ones. However, puffy paint is always the best one. Um, so yeah. Um, we're going to take a short break and then I'm going to go to my house actually. And then I'm going to show you how to make these ones. Um, we're a little bit more professional grade. Like I said, um, hopefully in the future, we'll, in the near future, we'll have an actual program where you can make your own one here in the library. And then you can make your own one. And like I said, um, I hope you had fun in this little cute video of a cute little watermelon sponge. It's so much fun. And I hope you enjoyed it. So squish on. So cute. Hi everybody, so we're back. So um, I'm back again to show you the second part of this squishy video. And this part of the squishy video, I'm gonna show you how to make the more professional grade one. It is a little bit harder and it requires a lot more material, but I hope that in the future, once we see each other again in person, that we can actually make them together, um, but actually just paint them together. And I can, I'm gonna make them so that way they're ready for you. So when we can finally do it again. So nevertheless, um, I'm gonna show you how cool the experiment is by um, using some of this, this one um, special chemical that you buy on Amazon. Um, so I hope it'll amaze you because I think it's very interesting. So then, and then I will actually show you um, how this all comes about. So let's get started. Alrighty, so here I am, I'm ready to go. So this is, I'm gonna put my gloves on and then my, so as you can notice, I have it set up. Basically, you're gonna need a tablecloth down and then the stuff that you buy online is called Flex Foam It. Um, it's a very kind of flammable situation, so you have to be very careful when doing it. Um, so essentially you buy it and it comes in these like little bottles like this. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that it doesn't get on your skin by any chance, or if it does, like you have to clean it right away. And then um, another thing, and it comes in this little like kit like thing. And then um, have some popsicle sticks ready. And then I bought, we bought this little cute little mold on the internet on Amazon. And then a one eighth cup, it doesn't really matter, but just keep in mind however much you put in is how big it's gonna get. And then some reusable cups. So Dixie cups. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put, so the ingredients are one part this to two parts this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it carefully and then we're gonna break the seal open. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna openly do it and then we're just going to carefully do it so that way actually i'm just going to use one of these like i said it's super gross once it's like done and everything it's super grody yeah. so then as you will see it looks kind of like goo if you would so if you'd ever do this at home, I would really recommend you do it with a parent because it gets kind of gross and super duper fast and grody. So um, definitely do not recommend doing this on your own if you decide to do it. But I just thought it would be kind of fun so you guys could see how it works out. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my measuring spoon and I'm gonna grab the yellow one. Let me take this off, the warning sign off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it into this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then what I'm gonna do is put it in here. Ready? 
And the next thing you're going to do is we're going to, I'm actually going to close it because I don't want it to spill. And then what I'm going to do next, oh my God, I forgot to shake it. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to shake the next one. And then I'm going to go ahead and do two parts according to whatever it says. And I'm going to do another one. And then put it in there. And then the thing is with this is that you have to mix it right away. So I'm going to grab my, my little thing and I'm going to mix it really, really quickly for 30 seconds. Then it's going to start to foam a little bit. So that's when I know I have to like get it together. All right. Hence the table mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my mold and I'm going to start pouring it. I'm going to pour it into here. You don't want to pour it all the way because it gets kind of tricky fast. And then it's going to start to get all weird and funky. So we're going to let it sit. And then it's going to start to get kind of weird soon. And it's going to start to foam. Make sure to grab the last little bit. And now it's going to start to foam shortly. It takes a couple of seconds before it starts to foam. And then it starts turning like this really crazy weirdness. It starts to foam up right quick. And it's kind of like magic in a way. But I hope you guys can see how it kind of looks. It looks kind of fascinating. It's going to start to get weird. And don't get scared. It's like, it's like magic how they rise. So yep, we're going to let that do itself. And then we're going to get started on the next one. So we're going to put our empty one to the side. We're going to grab our Perp A. Actually, I'm going to use two cups this time. So we're going to grab our measuring cup. We're going to pour it the A into one Dixie cup. And then I'm going to put the lid on and close it shut. And we're going to do our next one. I'm going to grab our measuring cup and we're going to pour two of these into the other cup. Remember, these are completely different sets. As you can tell, they're rising. Isn't it super cool? So we're just going to pour that in. It's best. And now we're going to do is we're going to put the A into the B cup. It's getting kind of crazy. We're going to mix it. As you can tell, I probably put too much in. Eventually, at one time, they'll stop growing. So we're going to put it in. We're going to pour it. We're actually not going to pour a lot this time. As you can, tell, you can tell, depending on how much mixture you pour in, it might get kind of crazy. So you want to be very, 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 very careful. The mold is so cool. I love it. But you want to be very careful. Okay. So 
that's how you make a professional squishy by using this weird stuff and being super careful. So they're gonna take a while to get there in the mold, about a half an hour before they get stop getting super sticky. <laughs> but that's kind of how it goes. When you make a professional one, obviously before you paint them, you wait overnight for them to dry after you take them out of the little silicone mold. So that way it makes it a lot easier to do it. So I have to clean that soon. I would highly recommend using stuff that you could throw away because this stuff is not food safe at all. So even though they're shaped like food, you have to be super careful with them. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. <laughs> I hope you liked this fun craft. I think it's fun. I know it's hard to do, but sometimes it's just fun to watch how it kind of all works out and how usually they're probably made. So, so then thank you for watching.